hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel i hope uh, all of you are doing well sab ekdam badhiya hai everything is going good so post my last video which was uh, regarding how to install uh, ecg and uh, bp on the galaxy watch 3 using a samsung phone i had received multiple requests uh, to provide the steps on how to do it with a non samsung phone because i do understand that several of you might not be having a samsung phone but might have bought the samsung galaxy watch 3 so today's video is regarding how to install ecg and bp on the watch 3 and watch active 2 if you are using a non samsung phone so i'll not be actually doing the final installation but i'll give you the steps till the final installation and uh, the last step would only be to go ahead and click on the install button that's it that will go ahead and install so you should not have any problems with that and i'll also not be showing how to install the app on the non samsung phone because it's just a simple apk file that you can install i mean samsung non samsung it does not matter it's the same process the only difference is how you load the apps or you install the apps on the watch so I'll give you a brief description, and then we'll see how those steps actually work. So, for this process, you would need a Windows computer or a laptop, because uh, you need to install multiple applications. The link for which will be in the description of this video. Uh, other than that, you would need access to a Wi-Fi access point to which both the watch and the laptop needs to be connected. They need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. because uh, the communication between the laptop or desktop and the watch will be via wifi while you install those applications so these are some of the prerequisites and uh, the download file it will be pretty heavy it will be around a 900 mb to a gb in size i have zipped everything up into a single folder so that you don't need to mul download multiple items so without further ado let's dive in and see how exactly these steps work out and uh, just a disclaimer guys if you are not comfortable in doing this if you are not able to understand do make a comment in the video i'll try and resolve as much as possible but still the steps are not as easy as let's say when you are installing with a samsung phone so please try them at your own risk with that being said let's go ahead and see how it's done So let's get started and see how we can uh, install the applications on the Galaxy Watch 3 or a Watch Active 2 with a non Samsung phone. I have already uploaded the files uh, and once you extract you would get these files out of which uh, this is the one that has the actual files that need to be installed on the watch. So I'll go ahead and extract them. and other than that you have the app the apk file here uh, which you need to install on the phone so i'll also get that extracted so let's start with the installation first we'll go ahead and install um, the jdk it doesn't really matter in which way you install it you need both jdk as well as jre i hope the installation doesn't take really long and here comes cherry come on strong okay that has been installed and now for the tizen studio and install okay we will not launch it here because we need to enable certain things on the watch so let's go ahead and watch those steps and then we'll come back to this 
So first thing that we need to do is turn off Bluetooth connectivity on your phone so that the watch does not connect. I mean, if we, you have already set up your watch, this is something you need to do because uh, you need to connect it to Wi-Fi and to make things easier, just disconnect it. So we'll go to settings and then we'll go down to connections. then to Wi-Fi you will see that for me Wi-Fi is already connected but Wi-Fi is set to auto what you need to do is go here and set it to always on yes and your Wi-Fi should be connected so you can see that right now Wi-Fi is connected next thing that you need to do is scroll down I mean I have already enabled it but I'll just uh, for me developer options is already enabled but I'll show you how to do it. You go to about watch and then you scroll down to the absolute bottom where you would see something like this software. Click on software and there would be software version. So if you click five times on it, you would turn on developer options. Once that is done, go back and scroll down further you would see debugging so click on debugging uh, for me it's already turned on because i have already done the prior part of the video but for you guys just turn it on and then go back reboot the watch after this once you have done all these steps once the watch reboots uh, please ensure that it's again connected to the same wi-fi that your laptop or desktop is connected to and then proceed with the rest of the paths in the video. So with the watch uh, rebooted and uh, connected to the same Wi-Fi uh, as this PC, so you can see I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and click on finish over here and let the Tizen Manager launch. Okay, so as you can see the Tizen Manager has launched. I hope you can see it. I don't have any means to enlarge this window and you can see 5.5 .5 mobile, 5.5 .5 wearable, 5 mobile, 5 wearable, 4 mobile, 4 wearable. So if you're using the Galaxy Watch 3, you will have to install 5.5 .5 wearable and if it's going to be a Galaxy Watch Active 3, Watch Active 2, sorry apologies for the mix-up if it's a watch active 2 then you'll have to check what is the version of tyson if you're running 4 install wearable 4 if it's 5 install wearable 5 so since we're doing it on a um, galaxy watch 3 and since it's wearable 5.5 we'll go ahead and click on install and we'll have to wait till that process completes So as you can see friends, uh, the 5.5 .5 wearable has uh, been installed successfully. Uh, next what we need to do, we need to scroll down, continue going down and you'd see Tyson SDK tools, uh, click on install and that would go ahead and install the SDK tools. So as Tizen SDK tools has also been installed, next we need to head over to the extension ta SDK tab that you see over here. And here you'll see extras, uh, expand extras and continue scrolling down. And what you'd see is something Samsung certificate extension. So if you see Samsung certificate extension and Samsung wearable extension, we need to go ahead and install both. Once all this installation has been done, you can safely go ahead and close the package manager. Uh, do not click on this and launch the Tizen Studio. We do not need it now. Just uh, click on OK and let it close. Once that has been done, what we need to do is we need to launch up the certificate manager. So you can just search in Windows. It will give you the certificate manager app. So yes, please to allow access because it needs to communicate 
over the wire to get things set up. So as you see, it says click on the plus button to create a new certificate profile. Go ahead and click on this. It will give you Tizen, Samsung. Click on Samsung. So here, uh, mobile, wearable, whatever is selected, and that's fine. So you can give it um, any name. So I'll give it test. So create a new authoring certificate. You don't need to give anything in advanced as such. Just click on next and enter your details. So please remember these details. Uh, for author name, I'll again give test password. I'll just give one, two, three, four. Keep it simple because you'd need the password again. So do not forget it. Uh, I think uh, password needs to be eight character. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, same goes here. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, that has pretty good complexity requirements. So I'll just give any password. Okay, click on next. So this is something you'll have to do. So it clearly shows uh, what is the path where the certificate has been saved. Uh, you can create a backup path if you want, uh, but that is not a mandate. Next, we'll create a new distributor certificate. Uh, do not close anything over here. So next step is to go ahead and open device manager. So please note that if you type in device manager, you would see an app and it might also show you the device manager for Windows. Do not open that, but use the app. So if you see, there's a small icon over here. If you point your mouse, it'll say remote device manager. Click on that. In case you do not see your watch being listed, you can manually go ahead and put these details in. You'd get a prompt on your watch to accept the fingerprint of the certificate that is being used. So just accept that and you'd see your device coming up over here and you'd see all those details. Now, once that is done, let's move over to the next step. We'll go back to this. So if you see uh, the serial number has auto populated, you can go ahead and click on next. And you can see it will give you the path where the certificate has been saved. Now you can go ahead and click on finish. So this part is done successfully. Next, what we need to do is we need the ECG downloads extracted. You'd see that there's a fit to installer. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and extract all of that. Open it. Next, what we need to do, we need to go ahead and copy the certificates that we created. So friends, uh, it seems there are some issues with the script. So the best way to do it is uh, uh, from the previous step where we extracted the fit to installer. Copy the content whole folder and paste it on your desktop. And once that is done, you'd see something, uh, a folder named as cert. Just uh, copy the contents of the cert created by the Tizen Certificate Manager here. And you would see a sign me folder. Uh, as you can see, I've already copied the ecg.tpk file from the parent folder. Once that is done, you would see a sign. Just click on it, uh, give it the password that you give for that certificate. Hit enter. And as you can see, it clearly shows ECG TPK is created successfully. It will give you the install the path. So 
press enter over here and you can see in install you this is the file that needs to be installed on the watch now how you can install it is from the Tizen manager again so to install it we need to go back to the device manager and from here we can go ahead and install it so right click on it and you'd see an option install app now go, I'll not be installing it friends because I already have it installed I don't want to make things bad on the watch so bad as in it might simply overwrite all the values and set data that I've already set, all the calibration that has been done. So just go to install me, select the app, open it, and you should be good to go. This will go ahead and install the app on the watch. So friends, once the app on the watch has been installed, you simply install the APK on the non-Samsung phone. Uh, once the APK has been installed, before launching the app, please ensure to put the pain, uh, phone in airplane or flight mode because uh, when you first launch the app if it's connected to the network it will not launch and will ask you to update it and if you do update it people have reported issues with the updated app so please put it in the flight mode then launch the app it will launch perfectly fine and post the first launch you can then enable or remove the phone from the flight mode and continue with setting up the app with the watch so that's it friends if you have liked the video if you found it useful uh, do like the video and do subscribe to my channel this will help me or inspire me rather to create such videos in the future thank you guys goodbye